So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today guys I have something pretty amazing for you. A talisman which increases rune gains. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the talisman is pretty amazing. Check this out. The Gold Scarab increases runes obtained from defeated enemies. And we're going to check it out right now, guys. So I'm going to come to this also popular farming spot right here where we kill the dudes and we get that that beautiful runes. I'm going to then put on the actual the Scarab and see how much of a difference it makes. And then I'll showcase you guys exactly how you get this thing. Okay, so sneaky, sneaky around this dude, guys. Sneaky, sneaky around this dude, guys. Whoa, whoa. Sit down. Okay, so 1094. Cool. Let's pull it on. Uh, there we go. Let me find another one of these dudes. There's one there. Is he looking at me, though? Not that it really matters, to be honest. Where are you going, boy? Boom! And you get 1,312. So that's... Blah, 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 blah. Is that about 20% guys? That's quite the increase. That is quite the increase. Actually, you know what? Should we check it? I don't think it will work on the boulders. But we can check that out too. Let's go over here quickly. The also popular boulders, guys. The also popular boulders. Okay, so let's... This is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. This makes farming these things so much better. Now, guys, if you do enjoy the video and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Also, leave a like. It really helps me out. And I should probably take this off first, to be honest. To be honest. So let's put it off. And then let's just see how much we get. I'm pretty sure it's like... Well, it doesn't really matter, but... Okay, so we get... 1,952. I don't think it's going to work with these. If it works with these, that's just stupid. <laughs> that's just stupid. Let's go down to this other border down here. That'd be absolutely crazy. Now, I want to give a massive shout out to Prevails on my Discord for showcasing to me the location of this thing, which we'll get to in a quick second, guys. Let's just check this out, see if it works. It can't work on borders. It can't work on enemies you got to be killing. It's got to be. Let's have a look. It works on the boulders. What the heck? It works on the boulders, guys. That's ridiculous. So that's literally 5,000 per run up and down this hill. Jesus, that's craziness. Okay, so to get this, you need to come to this spot right here. This cave, the abandoned cave. Now, let me just get rid of that. So we can see the surrounding area. Uh, we've got here the Street of Sages Ruins. We've got uh, Kalian Ruins. We've got the Goa Tunnel. I'm shit at pronouncing things, guys. Don't take the mic out of me in the comment section. We all know that. The Third Church of Marika. Okay, so you want to come to this part here, the Small Dream Wall. So we're we'll fast travel here, guys, and I'll show you how to get into this secret cave. Um, and then you do need to come down here and be a boss, which to be honest, I did it without being hit because I'm a boss. I'm a boss, people. Not really, but you know, you know, I'm actually just completely standard at this game. So from here, guys, you want to head uh, east. So pull out that 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 mount and head up this way. Head up this way, guys. OK, so we're going to come to this rock formation right yeah, now you can go around and climb along twigs and that, but I just think it's easier just to jump across. I mean, you can go which way you want though. So we got to get to that cave there. Now you can see the twig, the tree, you can walk along that if you want to, but you know, just run. Double jump with your, your horse, try and land there, jump down, you're fine. And now in here, guys, there's actually a grace you want to activate. And... It is really as simple as activating this and doing as I do on screen now. So on screen now you see an actual first recording I did. 
Um, now you want to jump down here and just run forward. But try not to roll, just run forward guys. Just run forward because this, this Scarlet Rock will get you and just come to this uh, this little nice little area where the poison wears off you. Yeah? And you just want to come around this corner guys. Uh, put out your torch as well if you've got one because it is pretty dark down here. And just keep running. You don't have to fight anything. Just follow the route I take and just go where I go. Jump the way I jump. And you should be completely fine. But obviously the... Uh, honestly the first part was the hardest part obviously besides the boss fight that is besides the boss fight but the first part was the hardest part uh, so I come around here ignore those rats and come down this way guys keep to the right keep to the right this guy will shoot poison at you to my left don't even stop and look at him no point in that you'll see just keep running it won't catch up with you if you if you ain't too overweight if you ain't too overweight and then you just Pull out your torch, get into the boss fight, guys. Now, if you've got a weapon that can stagger, uh, that work for you. I will say, wolves for the win. The wolves here absolutely terrorize this dude. Did I say I um, beat this dude without getting hit? I was probably lying. I get hit once or twice. I think I use <laughs> uh, my flask. I get my health back in a second, and I don't think I get hit from here. But yeah, it's crazy. Look at all the, the damage the wolves do are ridiculous. I think my wolves may be a level 2 or 3. I'm not sure. But you can see they just get to work, guys. And this weapon, which I made a video about already, which you'll find on my channel, is just an otter animal. I, like I'm still saying, it, I think it's the best weapon in this game so far. I mean... Well, for me anyway, I'm like a level 55 and it's just, it's worked wonders for me. It really has. So yeah, guys, if you want to find out about this weapon, you'll find it linked down below. And there it is, guys. Simple as that. And that's how you get the golden scarab. Now, it may not be as easy for you, so just take your time with it. Remember, if you die, there is a grace right at the top. Um, so yeah, it's not too difficult, to be honest. And then you say 20% extra, extra runes with everything you kill even the boldest guys killing themselves what's going on there that's wild but yeah guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out if you're new around here and want to see more Elden ring be sure to subscribe and hopefully my beautiful people i will see you on that next one